Hi, I'm Chris Strangebrew and I'm the owner operator of Old Glory Tattoo in Asbury Park, New Jersey. I always was interested in tattoos. Uh, I grew up around hot rods and bikers and stuff like that, and I always like to uh, see those kind of designs with nice outlines and bright colors. Uh, I liked a lot of the old hot rod imagery, and all that stuff was very graphic. It was very made for uh, for tattoos. And so uh, when I had gotten older, I got my first tattoo, and that was kind of uh, the thing where I was like, this is something I would like to do for a living. I, I love Chris's style because, you know, anytime I've come to Chris, I come in with an idea and he knows how to, you know, blow it away and just make it look amazing. Um, but I, I keep coming back because I love that neo-traditional boldness of, of his work. So this, I, uh, like I was saying earlier, I just got the teacup and the two flowers for the first time. I just always thought teacups were super cute. I have a couple old fashioned ones at home that I always really liked and I thought it would make a cool tattoo. Um, and then later on I decided I wanted more. So I kind of let Chris just draw whatever he wanted as for the flowers. And then we added the little, the little honey bee up top. A lot of my tattoos are really girly and, and dainty. <laughs> My cat passed away on Christmas Eve, so I decided I'm getting a portrait of him with his name and his actual paw print that the vet was kind enough to give us. <laughs> uh, it's actually, his actual paw print is incorporated into it, but I am getting a traditional portrait of him with some flowers and his name in there as well. These are some of the photos that she sent and my layout, and that's the final right there. I'm just laying out the area to get a feel for where I want it to go. When it comes to tattooing a woman, like you have to keep the form in mind. You know, like something like this, you can see how it kind of flows with the body and it, it'll accentuate the right forms and then um, negate kind of other forms. It gives you that more uh, proper feel. So if you look it's straight on the front and rounded towards the back and it kind of gives you all the right dimensions that you want to see. Just uh, setting up my machine and making sure my needles are straight and clean and not barbed. I'll usually just put out a black or any other colors I might be doing line work with. Um, I'll do that once we take a break in between the line work and the color then we will start uh, putting out some colors and stuff like that. Ready? Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, a lot of people have very, very bad experiences with tattooers and uh, they generally kind of come in expecting a similar problem. So we got to have to work our way to make them trust us, you know? How are you feeling? Good. Good. Right now it doesn't feel too bad. It just kind of feels like an annoying pinching. I look at tattoos as milestones, and even if you don't feel the same way about it, at one point in your life you did. So I got tribal too, and I'm not super keen on it. I would gladly not have it, but the fact of the matter is, is at one point in my life, I thought that that was exactly what I wanted. Well enough to spend a bunch of money on it and sit down in a chair and get it done. So I'll never forget that that was 
part of me, you know, that that's who I was, and uh, I'm different now, and that's good. I'd rather be uh, full of tattoos that I decided I, I liked at the time, but don't care for anymore, because it means I've made some progress in life, hopefully. This job's a job, and there's always going to be times when you're just doing what you got to do. And I have to always put myself in their shoes so I can, you know, remember that for them, like, everything was on hold. They took off from work for this. They're like, you know, this is the one time. And even if you get a lot of tattoos, it's still, it's the one time this month you're getting tattooed. And that, that's one thing that I think... Uh, I'm pretty happy about with the shop is that everyone says that they have a good experience, that they had a good time as in addition to getting a good tattoo. And that's that's super important to me. Definitely. I mean, I've been coming to them, like I said earlier, about once a month for probably a good year. So there are some places that make you feel like it's a business transaction and you're just there to get their service and they don't care, but here it's, it's always fun. Yeah, and at the same time, it's like... It, not not to like uh, trivialize it, but the fact of the matter is, is that you're spending a lot of time with this person. You know, like you gotta sit down and three, four hours of uninterrupted uh, FaceTime, and you can't just sit there in silence the whole time. So you gotta talk to them. You gotta be nice to them, and especially when they're regular customers, you start to learn things. It's like, oh, how you feeling today? Like, oh, okay, but you know, my dad's sick, and you know, this thing's going on, and that thing's going on. And so you see him the next time, and you're like, oh, how's your dad doing? How's this going? It's just, uh, at a certain point, you just get interested yourself, because, you know, you meet all these different kinds of people, and they've all got their own story to tell. You'll see a nice finished product, you know, when you're done. It's just that they change a little bit as they heal. Um, so it'll look a lot like like higher contrast, brighter and darker and things like that. And then as it heals, it starts to settle in. The skin grows over the top, so it dulls out just a little bit. So it's very important to wash your hands a lot. Make sure that you're taking very serious care of your tattoo. Not something you want to kind of just uh, do at your leisure, you know? Uh, normally I'll leave the what it's wrapped in on for a little bit. Sometimes I'll leave it overnight, but normally I just remove it after maybe an hour or two, and then I'll wash it with some fragrance-free soap until it feels smooth, and then take a paper towel, pat it dry, and then put some something like Aquaphor on it. And then I do that like two to three times a day for about a week. Because there, there have been some times where I've neglected doing that as much as I should, and the area will get a little bit scarred or, or discolored, and so I've learned it's important to to be serious about it and take good care of them. Listen to your tattooer, yep, folks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it, it is true, though, because it's extremely important to follow the rules and make sure you clean it so you don't get an infection. And if you put, it, it's, you know, if you put A&D on and Aquaphor like you're supposed to, you won't get a scab, you know, if, as long as you get tattooed the right way, too. Um, but you won't have any scabs. Uh, most of my tattoos just flake at the third or fourth day, they'll just flake off very gently, like the, the extra excess skin. And then underneath you have just a nice, smooth, bright looking tattoo. I would definitely say go for it. I mean, people have asked me that before and they say, I don't know if I like this or is this a stupid idea? But I think if it's something that you like, even if it doesn't have a deep meaning, if it's something that you just like how it looks, I say go for it as long as, you know, your t first tattoo isn't like something on your face or, or something. But if you know what, you know, career you want to do and if they allow it or even if not, I, I always say go for it.
I'm Chris Strangebrew over here at Old Glory Tattoo in Asbury Park, and you're watching APTV.